All right, so let's begin uh, vectoring out the informal script that we developed within the course. Um, first thing you're going to do is uh, scan it into the computer, open it up into Photoshop, and the rest of this video is going to be a sped up time lapse of that whole process that I went from sketch to uh, the final vector. So I will play this time lapse and I will describe the, the process of everything that's going on um, as as time goes on. So let's get to it. Um, so first thing you're gonna do is open up a Photoshop document, um, play with the levels and the contrast to uh, essentially see your lettering more clearly. Uh, bring it into Illustrator and knock that back to like a dull 10% opacity so you can trace on top of it. And then here we are uh, going through and just placing those vector points. Um, like I mentioned in a previous uh, video, you're going to place those anchor points on the extremum uh, essentially the north and south, east and west, most uh, points of your letters, each of them is going to be vectored out separately. So as you can see with this S, I'm finessing those points. Um, you want to use as few as possible to get those smooth curves. And uh, you want to distribute that weight evenly with um, all those uh, Bezier handles. So again, just like finessing those points until I move on to the next letter form. Here we go into the, the C. Um, you're going to want to vector out each of these letter forms separately into separate shapes so that way um, when it comes time you can move those uh, letter forms around if need be. Um, again you can see in the, cr the crotch of the R uh, that I applied a crossover technique essentially having the uh, anchor points extend into the letter form and then you can uh, navigate outward from that anchor point to get that sharp corner in the crotch of the R. And I do that throughout a couple of the other letter forms um, throughout this process. Um, you know, this is just a very back and forth process using the pen tool. It is, uh, it's never an easy process. It's always trial and error. So it's going to take some time to get used to this sort of thing if this is your first time doing it. There's definitely no easy way of vectoring your letter forms. Obviously, you could use um, the auto trace feature, but ultimately, your letter forms really aren't going to look uh, the best, especially if you're developing something such as a logo type that really needs to be um, perfected in terms of like your your color and your weight and all sorts of uh, aspects of a logo type. Um, so I guess it just depends on what the end goal is. But using that pen tool is, you know, it's going to be your best friend throughout all your, your vectoring projects. So throughout this process, you can see, especially in this G, I utilize some shapes as well. Um, with something like the G, it just makes sense to use the shape tool and create a circle and then alter those forms to uh, fit, your, fit your letter forms. Um, once everything is all outlined and vectored out, I, in this process that you're seeing here, I'm still correcting those um, anchor points and the placements because you can see after everything is filled in with a solid color, you'll see all those uh, minor inconsistencies in your letter forms. So I'm going back through and correcting a lot of those things, um, you know, smoothing out the curves, uh, fixing everything that I think uh, needs more weight or less weight, or you know, maybe we need to kern some letter forms. And that's the the great thing about vectoring is you can move these letter forms pretty easily without having to, you know, draw and redraw um, using a piece of paper. So this is just a very straightforward process. And then here we go at the end. I uh, change the color so you can see that it is now a finished piece. There's still some minor things that I might go ahead and change. But, um, you know, through that whole entire process, it definitely took me about you know, an hour and a half or two hours just to vector out those two words. Um, so to vector out the rest of them, it's the same sort of process, you know, drawing the outline, filling it in with a solid color, and then going back and forth and finessing those handles until perfection. So um, if you have any questions regarding uh, anchor point placement or, you know, anything at all related to vectoring, feel free to reach out and I will uh, get back to you.